sin theta is equal to x which implies theta is equal to sin inverse of x is called inverse of sin function denoted as sin inverse x. For the function y is equal to sin inverse x, for sin inverse x the domain is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Suppose if x is negative in cos, we are going to use pi minus that particular angle. The domain for cos inverse x is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is 0 to pi. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to take the revision of inverse trigonometric function. This is very simple and easiest chapter, 21-22 examination for April. The weightage for this chapter, particularly for inverse trigonometric function is, you will get so one mark, two questions and 2 marks 2 questions and 1 3 marks question. So, the weightage for this is 3 plus 4 plus 2 totally you will get 9 marks from this. So, you will have only 1 3 mark question remaining 2 2 questions are from 1 marker as well as for 2 marks. So, 2 2 marks question, 2 1 mark question and 1 3 marks question the weightage is 9 marks from this. Now, let us come to this first. So, you might have been familiar with uh, inverse trigonometric functions. Let me explain in brief. Now, if sin theta is equal to x is 1 1 and 1 2 function, then theta is equal to sin inverse of x is called inverse of sin function. So, if sin theta is equal to x which implies theta is equal to sin inverse of x is called inverse of sin function denoted as sin inverse x. So, for sin inverse x the domain the domain is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2. So, the domain for uh, the sin inverse x is minus 1 and 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2. So, therefore, sin inverse is a function from minus 1 comma 1 to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 that is the domain and the range. Now, the branch with the range minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2 is called the principal branch of the inverse trigonometric function sin inverse. So, for sin inverse the branch with minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 is called the principal branch of sin inverse. Now, let us consider for example sin inverse of 1 by 2. What is the value of theta here? For what value of theta sin will becomes 1 by 2? You know sin 30 degrees that is sin 30 is nothing but pi by 6 sin 30 is equal to pi by 6. So, therefore, if you take inverse for this sin inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to pi by 6. So, therefore, sin inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to this implies the value of theta or value of x is equal to here the value of x is equal to pi by 2. Suppose if this is considered as x is equal to sin inverse of 1 by 2, then sin x is equal to 1 by 2 which implies the value of x is equal to pi by 2. Similarly, sin inverse of 1 by root 2. Suppose if we consider this as theta, theta is equal to sin inverse of 1 by root 2, then this can also be written as sin of theta is equal to 1 by root 2. What is the value of theta here? theta is equal to 5 by 4. So, for 45 degrees this is equal to 1 by root 2. So, the value of sin inverse 1 by 2 is 5 by 6. If it is theta 5 by 6, for sin inverse 1 by 2 the value of theta is 1 by root 2 is pi by 4. So, because you know what is sin 45? Sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and uh, what is sin 6, sin 30? Sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 that is nothing but 30 degrees and 45 degrees. Now, let us come to the next one cos theta. If cos theta is equal to x is 1 1 and 1 2 function, then theta is equal to cos inverse of x is called inverse of cosine function. For cos inverse x, the domain is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is 0 to pi. See, for sin inverse x and cos inverse x, the domain is minus 1 comma 1 whereas the range for sin inverse x is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 whereas for cos inverse x the range is from 0 to pi. Keep it in mind very important they ask one more question for domain and range for sin cos tan cot secant and cosecant. So, therefore, for cos inverse is a function from minus 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 5. So, the branch with the range 0 comma 5 is called the principal branch of uh, 
cos inverse that is the domain for cos inverse x is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is 0 to 5. Now let us consider for example cos inverse of 1 by 2. Suppose this is equal to theta. Let us consider y is equal to cos inverse of 1 by 2. Then cos of y is equal to 1 by 2. This is nothing but cos of what is value of uh, sin? Sin 30. Sin 30 is equal to that is nothing but sin of 30, sin 30 1 by 2 and cos 30 root 3 by 2. Let us take uh, sin 60. What is sin 60? Sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 and cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2. So, therefore, this is equal to cos of 5 by 3. So, that means here the value of y is equal to this is nothing but the principal value here is theta or x is equal to what you are going to get? 5 by 3. The value of cos inverse 1 by 2 is 5 by 3. Similarly, for cos inverse 1 by root 2, so this is nothing but for example, this is theta, then cos theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 by root 2 implies theta is equal to 5 by 4 because the value of uh, cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. That is it, right. Now, let us come to the next one. If tan theta is equal to x, theta is equal to tan inverse x is called the inverse tangent function. Hence, for tan inverse x, the domain is r and the range is minus 5 by 2 comma plus 5 by 2. The domain is r and the range is minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2. And therefore, tan inverse is a function from r to minus 5 by 2 comma 5 by 2. The domain is r, the set of real numbers is the domain and the range is minus 5 by 2 comma plus 5 by 2 for a tan inverse x and the branch with the range minus 5 by 2 comma plus 5 by 2 is called the principal branch of tan inverse, tan inverse. For tan inverse x, the domain is r and the range is minus 5 by 2 comma plus 5 by 2. So, the domain is r and the range is minus 5 by 2 comma plus 5 by 2. Hence, let us consider for example, tan inverse of 1. What is the value of tan 45? Since we know tan 5 by 4 is equal to 1. So, therefore, this can also be written as tan 5 by 4. So, therefore, here theta is equal to 5 by 4. Now, let us take tan inverse 1 by 3. What is tan inverse 1 by 3? So, this is nothing but tan of 30 degree tan 5 by 6, tan 5 by 6 is equal to 1 by root 3. This is equal to theta, then the value of theta is equal to 5 by 6, that is it. Because tan 30, what is tan 30? Sin 30 of cos 30 root 3 by 2, tan 30 1 by root 3, that is it, okay. Now, let us come to the next one. Similarly, for cot inverse of x, if cot theta is equal to x implies theta is equal to cot inverse x is called the inverse cotangent function and for inverse cot, cot inverse x the domain is r same as that of tan and the range is from 0 to pi. See, for tan inverse x the domain is r and the range is minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2 whereas for cot inverse of x the domain is r set of real numbers whereas the range is from 0 to pi. So, therefore, cot inverse is a function from r to 0 comma pi. The branch with 0 comma pi is called as the principal branch of cot inverse and hence the domain is r and the range is 0 comma pi for cot inverse of x. Now, let us consider for example, cot inverse of 1, you know tan 45 and cot 45 is 1. So, if this is considered as theta, then cot theta is equal to 1 is nothing but cot pi by 4. So, here theta is equal to pi by 4, the value of theta is pi by 4. Suppose cot inverse of 1 by root 3. Suppose if this is considered as theta, then what you will get? Cot theta is equal to 1 by root 3. This is equal to cot of what is 1 by root 3 means 60 degree. Okay. What is sin 60? Sin 60 root 3 by 2. Cos 60 1 by 2. If you divide, you will get tan cot is equal to 1 by root 3. So, therefore, this is equal to pi by 3 radians. So, theta is equal to pi by 3. So, these are all lies in the interval 0 comma pi. That is why the domain is r and the range is 0 comma pi. That is it. Similarly, let us take for example, secant inverse and cosecant inverse. For secant inverse, if theta is equal to, if secant theta is equal to x, then theta is equal to secant inverse x is called the 
inverse of secant function and for secant inverse x the domain is r minus minus 1 comma 1 or the real values other than minus 1 and 1 and the range is 0 comma pi 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 this is very important so for secant inverse the domain is r minus of minus 1 comma 1 other than minus 1 and 1 and the range is 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 other than pi by 2. So, secant inverse of r from minus 1 to 1 is a function from minus r to minus 1 comma minus 1 to 0 comma pi minus pi by 2. The branch with the range 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 is called the principal branch for the function inverse function secant inverse. Hence, for secant inverse x, the domain is r minus of minus 1 comma 1 this is very important and the range is 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 ok. Now, let us consider for example, secant inverse, secant inverse of 2 if this is considered as theta then secant theta, secant theta is equal to 2. So, for what value of secant we will get uh, 2 this is nothing but 60 degrees ok. What is cos 60? cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2, secant 60 is equal to 2. So, this is equal to 60 degrees, 60 degrees is nothing but 5 by 3. So, theta is equal to 5 by 3 in this case, okay, which lies in 0 comma 5. Secant inverse 2 by root 3, suppose this is considered as theta, then secant of uh, theta, secant theta is equal to 2 by root 3, this is equal to opposite of cos of root 3 by 2. So, this is nothing but 30 degrees. So, this is equal to secant of 5 by 6. So, here theta is also equal to 5 by 6. So, here theta is equal to 5 by 3 and there 5 by 6 that is it, ok. So, these are the values of uh, secant inverse 2 and uh, secant inverse 2 by root 3. Now, let us come to the last one. If cosecant theta is equal to x, theta is equal to cosecant inverse x is called the inverse cosine function and therefore, for cos inverse x the domain is same as that of the secant or minus of minus 1 comma 1 all the real numbers other than minus 1 and 1 and the range is pi by 2 minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0. Now, hence for uh, cosecant inverse x, cosecant inverse x is a function from r minus of minus 1 to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0 the branch with the range minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 and minus 0 is called the principal branch for the function cosecant inverse x that is cosecant inverse and the domain is this is the domain r minus of minus 1 comma 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0. Now, let us consider for example, cosecant inverse 2. Suppose if cosecant inverse x is equal to 2 is equal to theta, then this can be written as cosecant theta is equal to 2. So, for what value of cosecant you will get uh, 2 this is nothing but cosecant of 30 degrees yes sin 30 because sin 30 is of cosecant 30 is also equal to 2. So, this is equal to 30 degrees. So, therefore, here theta is equal to 5 by 6 right. Now, similarly cosecant inverse 2 by root 3 suppose this is theta then you can write cosecant of theta is equal to 2 by root 3 this is nothing but cosecant of 60, 60 can be written as pi by 3. So, here theta is equal to pi by 3 which lies in minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 other than 0, ok. So, this is how we are going to find the principal value for sin inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, cot inverse, secant inverse and cosecant inverse. Now, the very important thing here is this is the important concept. Now, you will get one more question from this table. So, in the examination they will ask find the domain and range for sin inverse, cos inverse, tan, cot, secant, cosecant very simple. For the function y is equal to sin inverse x, for sin inverse x the domain is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 and similarly for cos inverse x the domain is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is 0 to pi. Whereas, for tan inverse x the domain is the set of real numbers and the range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So, one is closed interval another one is the open interval and for cot inverse x is the domain is r and the range is 0 comma 5 and for cosecant inverse x the domain is x is greater than or equal to 1 whereas the range is minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2 minus 0 
and for secant inverse x also the domain is x is mod of x is greater than or equal to 1 and the range is 0 comma pi minus pi by 2 ok or if you want you can write r minus of what is the range we have written r minus of minus 1 comma 1 here also r minus of minus 1 comma 1 if you want you can write. So, this is the range and domain and the principal branch for this uh, inverse trigonometric function very very important concept. Now, based on this let us take few problems. Now, let us come to the properties of inverse trigonometric function. The value of sin of sin of sin inverse x is equal to x if x belongs to minus 1 comma 1 and the value of sin theta sin inverse of sin theta is also equal to theta if theta lies between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. Similarly, cos of cos inverse x is equal to x where x belongs to minus 1 comma 1 the domain and cos inverse of cos theta is also equal to theta where theta lies between 0 to pi. So, if theta lies between 0 to pi cos cos inverse is equal to theta if theta lies between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 sin inverse of sin theta is equal to theta. So, the range is from 0 to plus or minus pi by 2 for sin and for whereas for cos 0 to plus pi. Now, the value of tan tan inverse x is equal to x where x belongs to all real numbers and tan inverse tan theta is equal to theta where theta lies between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. So, for a sin inverse sin theta and tan inverse tan theta the value is theta where the range is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 whereas for tan inverse tan theta whereas for cos inverse cos theta is equal to theta the range is from 0 to pi. So, therefore, hence if x is positive in cos inverse x in cos inverse of x if x is positive theta is positive and lies between 0 to pi by 2 and hence if x is negative x is if x is negative then theta is positive and which lies between 90 to 180 degree this is very important concept keep it in mind ok right. Now, let us come to the properties now the reciprocal relation. So, they may ask this type of question for one marker two marker also what is to prove to prove that sin inverse of 1 over x is also equal to cosecant inverse of x where x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1. Now, let us take LHS or RHS whatever you want let us start with the RHS. RHS is cosecant inverse of x. Now, RHS this is RHS let us take cosecant inverse of x is equal to theta ok. Now, let us take RHS what is RHS cosecant inverse of x let us consider cosecant inverse x as theta. So, which implies this implies cosecant theta is equal to x if you remove inverse cosecant theta is equal to x reciprocate it 1 over cosecant theta is also equal to 1 over x. Now, what is the reciprocal of 1 by cosecant theta that is sin theta sin theta is equal to 1 over x. So, therefore, theta is equal to sin inverse of 1 over x. What is theta from LHS cosecant inverse x. So, therefore, you can say that cosecant inverse of x is also equal to sin inverse of 1 over x this is the proof sin inverse of 1 over x is also equal to cosecant inverse of x. So, sin inverse 1 over x is equal to cosecant inverse x. Therefore, here let us consider for example, to find the value of cosecant inverse 2 if you want you can convert this into sin inverse of 1 by 2. What is sin inverse 1 by 2? So, sin inverse of 1 by 2 is nothing but 30 degrees that is pi by 6 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 pi by 6 30 degrees. Hope all right. Similarly, let us come to this cos inverse of 1 over x is equal to secant inverse of x where x is greater than or equal to 1 and x is less than or equal to minus 1. Let us consider secant of inverse x is equal to theta. This implies secant theta is equal to x reciprocate it. If you reciprocate 1 over secant theta is equal to 1 over x. What is 1 over secant theta? Cos theta is equal to 1 over x. This implies theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 over x. Now, what is theta? Substitute it secant inverse of x. So, secant inverse of x is equal to cos inverse of 1 by x. So, therefore, you can say that cos inverse of 1 over x is also equal to secant inverse of x that is it right cos inverse 1 over x is also equal to secant inverse of x or secant inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 over x. Let us take for example 
secant inverse of 2. So, secant inverse of 2 can also be written as cos inverse 1 by 2. What is this equal to? Cos inverse of 1 by 2 is nothing but 60 degrees. Sin 60 root 3 by 2, cos 60 1 by 2. So, 60 degrees can also be written as pi by 3 radians. So, this is equal to pi by 3 radians. That is it. Okay. Now, similarly, let us come to the next one. Tan inverse of 1 over x is equal to cot inverse of x where x is greater than 0. Now, let us consider this. Let cot inverse of x is equal to theta which implies cos theta is equal to x. Reciprocate it. 1 over cot theta is equal to 1 over x. What is 1 over cot theta? Tan theta. Tan theta is equal to 1 over x. Therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x. Now, substitute what is theta? Cot inverse of x. Cot inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x. So, conclude it. Therefore, so tan inverse of 1 over x is also equal to cot inverse of x. Right. Very simple. Very simple. Once if you know, just take any one value, reciprocate it, you will get the answer. Now, let us consider for example, cot inverse of root 3. This can also be written as tan inverse 1 by root 3. Now, for what value of tan you will get it as 1 by root 3. So, that is nothing but 60 degree. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is 1 by root 3. So, this is nothing but tan of 60 is nothing but pi by 3. Tan pi by, so here theta is equal to pi by 3 radians. Okay. Now, let us come to this type of problem. One mark or question. Find the principal value of cosecant inverse 2. Now, let us consider let cosecant inverse of 2 is equal to theta which implies cosecant theta is equal to 2. So, this is nothing but cosecant of for what value of theta you will get 2. So, this is nothing but pi by 6. So, here theta is equal to pi by 6 or if you want you can also write or you can also solve like this. Cosecant can also be written as cosecant inverse of 2 can also be written as sin inverse of 1 by 2. So, therefore, theta is equal to sin 30. What is sin 30? 1 by 2. Therefore, this can also be written as pi by 6. That is it. Now, let us come to this. Secant inverse of uh, 2 by root 3 can also be written as cos inverse root 3 by 2. For what value of theta you will get cos as root 3 by 2? This is nothing but which implies theta is equal to 30 degrees. That is nothing but again pi by 6 because we know cos pi by 6 is equal to root 3 by 2. Sin 30 of cos 30 root 3 by 2. That is it. Let us come to the next one. The principal value of cot inverse 1 by root 3. Cot inverse can also be written as tan inverse of root 3. So, this tan inverse of root 3 is nothing but since you know tan of uh, 60, tan 60 is root 3. So, that is nothing but pi by 3 is equal to root 3. So, therefore, here theta is equal to pi by 3 because sin 60, sin 60 root 3 by 2 cos 60 1 by 2 tan 60 root 3. Similarly, come to this secant of this can also be written as cos inverse of 1 by 2. So, for what value of cos you will get it as 1 by 2. So, you know since cos of 60 degree, cos 60 that is nothing but pi by 3 is equal to 1. So, which implies theta is equal to pi by 3 here. That is it. Okay. Now, let us come to this. Find the principal value of sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. Since you know sin of 30 degree, sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 and sin inverse of minus pi by 6 is also equal to minus 1 by 2. So, this implies theta. So, sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 2. This is nothing but sin of minus pi by 6. So, therefore, the value of theta is minus pi by 6. Here, theta is equal to minus pi by 6. Whereas, cosecant inverse 2. Suppose, consider this as theta, then what you will get? Cosecant theta is equal to 2. Cosecant theta, if you reciprocate it, 1 over cosecant theta is 1 over 2. That means, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. For what value of theta you will get it as 1 by 2? 30 degrees, sin 30. That is nothing but pi by 6. So, here 
theta is equal to pi by 6. Okay. Now, let us come to the next set problem. Now, here tan inverse of minus root 3, you can write it as let tan inverse of minus root 3 is equal to theta, then tan theta is equal to minus root 3. This is nothing but tan of minus root 3. Root 3 comes in the numerator first for a 60 degrees. So, pi by 3. So, therefore, theta is equal to minus pi by 3. Now, whereas tan inverse of 1. So, let us consider tan inverse of minus 1 as theta, then tan theta is equal to minus 1. This is nothing but pi by 4 minus 45 degrees. So, theta is equal to minus pi by 4. Okay. That is these are the principal values of tan inverse root minus root 3 and tan inverse minus 1 minus pi by 3 and minus pi by 4. Now, find the principal values of in the examination they may ask like this sin in cos inverse 1 by 2. So, very simple how to write this is one marker question straight away you can write this cos inverse of 1 by 2 implies theta is equal to pi by 3 radians 60 degrees. So, this is pi by 3. Okay. This implies for what value of uh, theta this is 1 by root 2 theta is equal to pi by 4 45 degrees 1 by root 2. Whereas here cos inverse of root 3 by 2 which implies theta is equal to what is the value of theta here root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 is nothing but 30 degrees pi by 6. Now secant inverse of minus 2 this is very important. Now, let us come to this secant inverse of minus 2 is equal to theta, then secant theta is equal to minus 2. Secant theta can also be written as cos theta is equal to minus 2. Since what is cos of 60 degrees, cos 60 that is cos pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2. Since there is one formula cos inverse of minus x is also equal to pi minus cos inverse x. This is the formula we are going to use. Suppose if x is negative in cos, we are going to use pi minus that particular angle. So, here theta is equal to pi by 3. For cos inverse of minus 1 by 2, theta is equal to pi minus pi by 3 that is equal to 2 pi by 3. So, here this is implies theta is equal to 2 pi by 3 because here we are going to use pi minus pi by 3 for this. Pi minus pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3, that is it. Okay. So, cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse of x. Cos inverse of minus x is pi minus pi minus cos inverse x. This is a formula we are going to use for cos inverse of x if it is negative. Suppose in the examination, if they ask directly cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 cos inverse of minus 1 by 2. So, what is the value of cos inverse plus 1 by 2? Pi by 3. For negative, we are going to write pi minus pi by 3. That is nothing but 2 pi by 3. This is okay. So, even for cos inverse of minus 1, if it is negative, cos inverse of minus 1 by root 2, we are going to take what is cos inverse of plus 1 by root 2? Pi by 4, pi minus pi by 4, this is equal to 3 pi by 4. Okay. Now, you got an idea. If cos is positive, you will get the straight away, you will get the value of theta which lies between 0 to 90. And if cos inverse of x is negative, if x is negative, you will get the value of theta as positive which lies between uh, 90 to 180. So, therefore, the range, the domain of cos is minus 1 comma 1 and the range is from 0 to pi, no negative angle, there is no negative range. Okay. This is very important. So, you may expect this type of questions cos inverse of uh, minus 1 by 2, cos inverse minus 1 by root 2 or cos inverse of minus root 3 by 2. For that just put pi minus that particular angle that is it. Okay? Very simple. Now, let us come to the next. So, two marker questions. Now, based on this let us solve few two marker questions. Now, what is given find the value this is important type problem for your 2022 examination. What is the value to be determined here? Find the value of cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Now, this can be written as you know what is cos, what is sin 30? Sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. 
and cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2. Similarly, sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 and cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2. You know the table. Now, this is nothing but 30 is nothing but uh, 5 by 6 radians and this is 5 by 3 radians. Now, so cos inverse of 1 by 2, cos inverse of 1 by 2 comes for uh, 60 degrees that is nothing but 5 by 3 plus 2 into sin inverse 1 by root 2. The value of sin inverse 1 by root 2 is 30 degrees, 5 by 6. So, what happens? This gets cancelled 5 by 3 plus 5 by 3. What is equal to? 2 pi by 3. Pi by 3 means 60. 60 plus 60, 120. 120 can be written as 2 pi by 3. That is it. If you do this much, you will get 2 marks. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next type problem, same type problem. What is given? Find the value of tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus 1 by 2 plus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. So, the given equation is this. You know tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 plus cos inverse of cos. What is the value of uh, theta for which cos is equal to 1 by 2? Sin 30 of cos 60. That is nothing but pi by 3. Since it is negative, cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 can also be written as pi minus pi by 3. So, this can be written as pi minus pi by 3 plus sin inverse of 1 by 2. Since you know sin 30, what is sin 30? Sin pi by 6 is 1 by 2. This can also be written as minus pi by 6. Now, this is pi by 4 plus 3 pi minus pi is 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6. Take LCM. So, the LCM for this 4, 3 and 6. Take LCM and simplify you will get the answer. That is it. Okay. Let us simplify this. Take the LCM. The LCM for this 4, 3, 6 is nothing but 12 is the LCM. So, 4, 3 is I gets cancelled. This is 3 pi. Again plus 3 cancels by 4 times. 4 into 2 is 8 pi minus 6 2 is 12. This is 2 pi. So, 3 pi plus 8 minus 2 is 6 pi divided by 12. This is nothing but 9 pi by 12 means 3 3 is a 3 4 is a 3 pi by 4. So, the simplified answer is 3 pi by 4. 3 3 is a 3 4 is a 3 pi by 4 is the required answer. That is it. Okay. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next problem. Tan inverse root 3 minus secant inverse of minus 2. Now, you know the value of uh, tan 60 tan 60 is nothing but pi by 3, tan 60 is equal to root 3 and you know the value of uh, secant, secant of uh, secant can also be converted as cos, you know what is cos 1 by 2, for what value of cos you will get it as 1 by 2, so the 1 by 2 for cos is for cos 60 degree, cos 60 that is nothing but pi by 3. So, substitute here, this can be written as tan inverse of root 3 is pi by 3 minus since it is negative you can also write it as cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 pi by 3 minus pi minus pi by 3. Now, pi by 3 as it is you can take LCM 3 pi minus pi is 2 pi by 3. Simplify this 3 is the LCM pi minus 2 pi that is equal to minus pi by 3 is the required answer for this. So, what is the answer minus pi by 3 ok. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next problem, similar type problem. Find the value of tan inverse of 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Now, let us consider this first. So, that the given equation can be written as tan inverse of 2 times cos of 2 into what is sin inverse 1 by 2? Sin 30. What is sin 30? Sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. So, this can be written as pi by 6. So, this is tan inverse of 2 cos into this gets cancelled pi by 3. Now, what is cos pi by 3? What is cos pi by 3? Cos pi by 3 is nothing but 60 degree cos 60. Cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2. So, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. You will get tan inverse of 1. What is tan inverse of 1? Pi by 4. So, you, this 2 gets cancelled you will get tan inverse 1, tan inverse 1 is nothing but pi by 4, that is it, ok. 
Now let us come to the next problem. Find the value of uh, tan inverse root 3 minus cot inverse of minus root 3. Since you know tan 60 degree, tan 60 is nothing but 5 by 3 is equal to root 3. Tan 60 is equal to root 3. And there is one formula for cot inverse of minus x is also equal to phi minus cot inverse of x. Okay. Now, this can be written as the given equation. This is tan inverse root 3 as it is. This can also be written as minus of phi minus cot inverse root 3. Now, this is equal to for what value of tan inverse root 3 you will get theta is equal to pi by 3 minus pi minus cot inverse of root 3 30 that is since cot 30 that is nothing but pi by 6 is equal to root 3. So, this is pi minus pi by 6 pi by 3 minus 6 pi minus 5 is 5 pi by 6 take LCM 6 is the LCM 3 gets cancelled 2 pi minus 5 pi that is equal to minus 3 pi by 6 or this is also equal to minus 5 by 2. The simplified answer is minus 5 by 2, okay, that is it. Now, let us come to the next problem. What is the next problem? Same as that of the previous problem. Find the value of sin of 5 by 3 minus sin inverse of 1 by 2. Just what is this is the given equation. Given equation is sin of 5 by 3 minus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. Now, just find out what is the value of sin inverse 1 by 2. Sin inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to theta implies sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, theta is equal to 30 degrees that is nothing but pi by 6. Okay? Now, here this can be written as sin of pi by 3 minus sin inverse of 1 by 2 is pi by 6. This can be known as minus pi by 6. So, this is equal to sin of pi by 3 minus into minus plus pi by 6. If you observe carefully, pi by 3 is 60, pi by 6 is 30, 60 plus 30 is 90. So, this can be written as pi by 2 sin 90 degrees. What is sin 90? Sin 0, 0, sin 90 is 1. That is it. The answer is for this is 1, right? See here sin of pi by 3 minus sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. Since sin inverse of 1 by 2 is theta which implies theta is equal to 30 degrees pi by 6. So, minus becomes minus pi by 6. Pi by 3 minus into minus plus pi by 6. Pi by 3 plus pi by 6 is pi by 2 sin 90. Sin 90 is 1 that is it. Now, let us come to the next problem. Find the value of sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 3. So, this can be solved in any method convert 2 pi by 3 into radians and simplify. So, here 2 pi by 3 let us convert sin of 2 pi by 3 into the simplest form 2 pi by 3 that is nothing but 60 into 2 that is nothing but 120. 120 degree can be written as sin of 180 minus 60 that is nothing but pi by 3 see sin 180 minus theta that is nothing but pi minus pi is 2 pi by 3 sin 180 minus theta. What is sin 180 minus theta? This is equal to sin theta. You will get sin pi by 3 that is it. So, therefore, this can be written as sin inverse of sin of pi by 3 A sin sin inverse of pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3 because you know x belongs to minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2 that is pi by 3 belongs to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So, the value for this is sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3 is the simplified answer. Just convert this to the value such that it should be less than 90 degrees because you know sin inverse of sin theta is equal to theta where theta lies below theta belongs to minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 that is it. Sin of 2 sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 3 is can also be written as pi by 3 sin sin inverse is equal to sin inverse of sin pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3 that is it. See here sin inverse of sin pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3 because this x is nothing but pi by 3 this pi by 3 belongs to minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. Now, let us come to the next problem similar let us take one more problem convert this cos 7 pi by 6. So, you know the value of cos inverse of cos theta is equal to theta 
where theta lies between 0 to pi up to 180 degree. Now what is 7 pi by 6? 7 pi by 6 is nothing but 7 into 30 that is equal to 210 degrees greater than 90 convert into less than 80, 180 degrees that is it. Now convert this cos of 7 pi by 6 can also be written as cos pi plus pi by 6 ok pi plus pi by 6, 6 pi plus 1 pi is 7 pi by 6. Now this is of the form cos 180 plus theta. What is cos 180 plus theta? So this is in second quadrant, in second quadrant cos is negative, this is minus cos theta. So this is equal to minus cos of pi by 6. Now this can be written as cos inverse of cos 7 pi by 6 is equal to cos of minus cos of pi. So, this is nothing but cos inverse cos of minus pi by 6. So, this can also be written as cos inverse cos of minus pi by 6 can also be written as pi minus pi by 6. So, this is equal to pi minus pi by 6 is 6 pi minus pi is 5 pi by 6. The required answer is pi pi by 6 that is it. So, this pi pi by 6 means pi by 6 is 30 into pi is 150 which belongs to 0 comma 5 that is it ok. Hope you followed. Now let us come to the same type problem tan inverse of tan 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, pi by 4 is 45, 45 into 3 is 135 degrees. So you know for tan tan inverse, tan tan inverse theta is equal to theta where theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2 plus or minus. Now let us convert this tan 3 pi by 4, tan 3 pi by 4 can also be written as pi minus pi by 4, see pi minus pi by 4 is 3 pi by 4, what is tan 180 minus theta minus tan theta minus tan pi by 4. Now this can be written as the given equation can be written as tan inverse of minus tan pi by 4. So this is nothing but tan inverse of tan of minus pi by 4. So, this is equal to minus pi by 4. So, which belongs to minus pi by 4? This belongs to this belongs to minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2. That is it. Okay. Let us come to this problem sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5. Let us convert sin 3 pi by 5. What is this equal to? Sin of 3 into 180 degrees divided by 5. So, this is nothing but sin of pi 3 is of 15 and what is left is pi 6 is of 30. So, 3 into 36, 3 into 36 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees. Convert this 108 degrees to less than 90, that is it, okay. So, sin 3 pi by 5 can be written as sin pi minus 2 pi by 5. See pi this is nothing but pi pi minus 2 pi by 5. So, this can be written as sin inverse of sin of 3 pi by 5 is also equal to sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. So, this can be written as sin 2 pi by 5. So, this is sin 2 pi by 5. So, this is equal to 2 pi by 5. 2 pi by 5 means pi by 5. 2 into 180 divided by 5. What is this equal to? Less than 90 degrees, 72 degrees. So, this belongs to minus pi by 2 comma plus pi by 2. So, therefore, the required answer is 2 pi by 5. That is it. Okay. Hope you follow. See here. Very simple. Convert sin 3 pi by 5. Sin 3 pi by 5 can be as pi minus 2 pi by 5. So, sin 2 pi by 5. This is sin 2 pi by 5. Sin of 2 pi divided by 5 substitute here sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 5 sin sin inverse gets cancelled that is equal to 2 pi by 5 because this is lies between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 that is it ok. Hope these type of problems are very important and very easy you may get a few questions from this concept for 1 and 2 markers 1 marks and 2 marks are entirely based on this concept. Now that is regarding today's session. Let us meet with uh, different problems that is regarding 3 mars as well as 2 mars in the next session depends upon the properties of inverse trigonometric function. So, do not go let us attend the next session also that is also very important. 
So that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with different concept in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much.